we are here for Yoga Fusion. In Yoga Fusion, we warm up, we do a flow to build some heat, take about 15 minutes to incorporate some high intensity interval training with our yoga, using yoga poses as the foundation for the exercises. Then we cool down and stretch at the end. So we get a little bit of everything. I'm starting seated today. Uh, before we get started, um, I've got a couple of blocks. I'll be using a block later today in our uh, fusion segment so I can do a warrior three row. Um, you might want to grab a chair if you don't have a block. I'll probably want to grab some weights later too. Oh well. All right. So we're seated. And we just start by rocking back and forth, grounding our sits bones, finding stability, finding strength. Let's stack the spine. Draw the navel in and up. Let's lift the sternum. Let's roll the shoulders back and slide the shoulder blades down. Let's close the eyes. Take a breath. Just bring your awareness to that breath. Become aware of the length of your inhale and your exhale. And for today, all we're going to do is try to equalize those inhales and exhales. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Sigh out through the mouth. Seal the lips. And we'll breathe in and out through the nose for the most part during class today using our ujjayi breath, our ocean breath. It's that breath you can kind of hear in the back of your throat. Sitting tall, resting our hands so we can stack the spine. Let's just turn the head to the right. Come back to center. Turn it left. Center. Right. Center. And left. Center, let's drop the chin, lift it, drop it, and lift it, and drop it, and lift it. Let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder, and drop the chin down, then roll the left ear to the left shoulder, and drop the chin down. Right ear, right shoulder, drop the chin, left ear, left shoulder. Drop the chin back to the right ear. Lift the head back up. Bring our fingertips out. Pull the shoulders back and down. Lift the sternum. Sit up nice and tall. Really engage your core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm only. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale down, left arm, inhale up. Exhale over, inhale up. Exhale down, right arm, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Left arm, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's switch the cross of our legs. Even things out. Rock out those sits bones. Sweeping the left hand behind. We're propping ourselves up nice and tall, lifting your spine, lifting your sternum. Right hand, left leg. Inhale tall, exhale, twist. Pause to inhale. And exhale deeper. Looking over your shoulder. Find that length in your spine. You're gonna take that twist. Relax back to center and sweep the right hand behind. Press yourself up, lift your sternum, engage your core. Left hand, right leg. Inhale tall. Exhale twist. Pause for the inhale. Exhale twist. Looking over the shoulder. Coming back to center. Bring our hands down, come on to hands and knees. 
always make fists here to keep your wrists neutral if you prefer. If you've got your dumbbells handy, you can also hold dumbbells when you're in this position to keep your wrists neutral, but they might get in the way before too much longer. We've got our shoulder blades sliding down the back. Imagine you've got back hip pockets your shoulder blades are sliding back into. Your abs are drawing in and up. Your neck is long. You have lots of space between your ears and shoulders. We inhale and lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Look forward of your mat, look forward of your hands. For cow, exhale, scoop your abs and curl and look at your knees. For cat, rounding the back. Inhale, lift and arch for cow. Exhale, scoop and curl for cat. As we finish our next round, we'll come back to neutral spine. We'll push our hips from side to side. Limbering up, we'll come back to stillness. We'll circle our hips one direction three times. Barrel roll. In reverse direction. Three times. Coming back to stillness, sliding that left foot back, curling those toes under, rocking on the ball of the foot, loosening up the calf. Floating the left foot across the right foot, looking over the right shoulder, pushing the left hip out, rocking here. Floating that left leg straight out behind us, nice and active, foot is flexed, pressing out through the heel. We're extending the right hand forward, so we're going to shake someone's hand. Gaze is down, spine and neck are aligned. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Three more times. As we finish, we'll come back down to hands and knees. A couple of cat cows. Back to neutral. Sliding the right foot back, floating the toes under and rocking. Floating the right foot across the left, looking over the left shoulder, pushing the right hip out. Rocking here. Floating that right leg straight out, nice and active, pressing back through the heel. Left arm forward, gaze is down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Repeat. Three more. Back down to hands and knees. Big toes together. Open the knees wide. Sink the hips back. Child's pose. Feel the length of your spine as your hips sink back towards your heels. Rounding our palms into the floor here, spreading our fingers, our middle finger pointing forward. We're pressing the palm, the knuckles of the palm, the fingertips into the floor, creating hasta banda. And on our next inhale, we'll rise up to kneeling plank. Shoulders over the hands, hips are straight, abs engaged. Exhale, pressing back to child's. Inhale, plank. Exhale, child's. Two more. Now if that bothers your wrist, you could also come into a forearm plank and go back to um, puppy. You won't have as much room to move your hips back for child's, but you can lift up to puppy pose if you'd like to do forearm instead. We can hang out with this. We can add chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, bending the elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back to child's. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Take a breath. Option to add in chaturanga all the way down to the floor then a baby cobra. And from there, we'll push back to child's. Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga down to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, lifting chest and shoulders, not pressing with the hands. And then exhale, draw the abs in, float the hips back to child's pose. Inhale, 
inhale, healing plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, float the hips, draw the abs in, press back, one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, float the hips, draw the abs in, breathe. We're going to make our way to a forward fold standing. I'm going to do it by going into a full uh, downward facing dog first, but you can just curl your toes under here. You can either walk your hands in and then rise up to your forward fold, or you can float your hips up and back first, pressing your chest towards your thighs, sinking your heels, pedaling out your feet. Shoulder blade, shoulder blade sliding to your back hip pockets, neck is long, and we'll all walk our hands in toward our feet, and hopefully we're all in a forward fold now. Come here from your child's pose or by way of downward facing dog. Inhaling, we lift halfway, coming to a flat back, still sliding those shoulder blades down the back, lengthening our spine, halfway lift. Inhale and exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And halfway lift. And fold. This time we'll sweep the arms up. Thumbs turning back, rising up. Extended mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive, soften the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive, soft knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Arms stay up this time. Let's interlace fingers and point the index finger. As we inhale, we'll lengthen up as we exhale, we'll sway to the right side. Using breath to expand the left side ribs. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling to sway left side, opening up the right side body, again using breath to expand and sink deeper. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, interlacing fingers. Exhale, sway to the left side. Sorry. Inhale up, exhale, sway to the right side. Swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Interlace fingers. Right side first this time. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Interlace fingers. And this time we go to the left side first. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale. Let's just bring hands down to heart center. Pack the shoulders, ground the feet. Perhaps rock back and forth to find equal grounding in your feet. Active legs, drawing kneecaps up. Abs in. Arms down, palms forward. Let's find a nice strong mountain pose. Just for a breath or two. Keep it active, even out through your fingertips. Very active. Let it relax. Everything's engaged. Let's come back to heart center. Press back to a chair pose. We can keep our hands at heart center. We can pack our shoulders and extend our arms forward if we like. Let's inhale to rise up. Exhale to chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to chair choice with the hands. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Interlacing fingers. Exhale, sway to the right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale through chair pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, interlacing fingers. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sway right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, through chair pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, interlace fingers. Exhale to the left, lost track, inhale. Exhale, right, inhale, to chair. And come back to heart center. Let's step out wide. Making sure that our knees are pointing out toward our toes, not inward. Uh, the length of your feet is you know, up for you to figure out, but kind of a starting point is, think about the length of your leg, making like an equilateral triangle, but that might be too wide or too narrow, who knows. But that's sort of a starting point, knees toward the toes. Starting with moon flowers, inhale to a starfish pose, exhale, elbows to, to sides, inhale, exhale. Now we're changing to sunflowers. And sunflowers, we swoop down. We imagine scooping up flowers in our arms. We inhale to rise. We exhale to swoop and scoop. Inhale to rise. For three, two, and one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pivot to your right. Opening into warrior two. Warrior two, we're stacking that right knee over that right ankle. We're trying to line up that right heel with that left arch. The left foot is basically parallel to the back edge here. If anything, your heel is the furthest point from your torso. This leg, this back leg is straight and strong. Front knee stacked over ankle. You can just see your big toe here. Just see your big toe when you look down. Let's levelize the pelvis, pack the shoulders. Reach out through the fingertips, gaze out past the right fingertips with a soft, unfocused gaze, sinking the hips, now turning our palms forward, inhale to expand, exhale, imagine drawing your bow and inhale as you pull it back. Exhale, reach to draw your bow string, inhale back. Exhale, close, inhale, open. Two more times. Once more, now we'll come to reverse warrior. We'll turn that right palm up and inhale and lift. That left hand can rest on your leg or take a half bind behind your back. The right hand can go straight up. You can take a, a bend here, a little flexion. Either way, you're bringing breath into the right side of your rib cage, expanding those ribs, creating some space. And now without changing our leg position, we're gonna inhale and exhale the forearm down to the thigh. Sweeping that left arm either straight up for side angle or out past the ear for extended side angle with an option to bring this right hand down to the floor if we like. Let's flow between extended side angle or side angle and reverse warrior. Inhale, lift. Exhale, angle. Inhale. Exhale. For three. Two, and one, now we're going to rise to a reverse triangle, extending our legs and reaching up. It's just like our reverse warrior, except we're in triangle stance with our legs extended. Inhale and exhale, slide your rib cage over and come down into Triangle, stacking shoulders, squeezing shoulder blades together, breathing, keeping length in the spine. Inhale to reverse triangle, exhale to triangle. Inhale, reverse, exhale, triangle. For three, 
to keep that length in your spine so you're moving from your hips and one as we inhale we're going to rise back up and come to star starfish here or star pose rather again knees point toward the toes inhale expand exhale moon flowers inhale expand exhale moon flowers for three two and one inhale sunflowers inhale lift exhale swoop down scoop up those flowers inhale lift exhale swoop and scoop and lift for three two and one inhale rise exhale pivoting to your left opening to your warrior two again stacking the left knee over the left ankle just being able to see your toe trying to align your left heel with your right arch grounding down to that right foot right leg is straight and strong levelizing our pelvis tucking under if we need to keep those abs engaged Gazing out past our fingertips, soft gaze, unfocused gaze, find breath, turning palms forward, inhale, expand, exhale, reach to draw your bowstring, inhale to pull it back, exhale to close, inhale to open, for three, two, as you open, try to squeeze those shoulder blades, create some space in your front body, and one, breath, put your palm up, inhale lift to reverse warrior, option for bind, option to bend, either way bringing the breath into the left side body, creating space, inhaling, exhaling, coming to whatever version of side angle you like, finding the length of the side of your body, Now we'll flow that, inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale for your side angle, inhale, exhale, for three, two, and one. On our next inhale, we'll straighten our leg and come up to reverse triangle. On our exhale, we'll slide down into triangle pose, squeezing our shoulder blades, and we'll flow this. On your next inhale, reverse triangle, legs don't change. Exhale to triangle for three. Inhale and come back up to star pose. Take a breath. We're going to break that down, cut out all the little flourishes, and just move through that series of poses from the middle to one side, back to the middle to the other side. Starting back in our star pose. Exhale, moon flowers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sunflowers this time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, star. Exhale, moon flowers. Inhale. Exhale, sunflowers. Inhale. Exhale, left side warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, sliding into triangle. Inhale, back to star. 
exhale, moon flowers. Inhale. Exhale, sunflowers. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two right. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, sliding into triangle. Inhaling, star. Exhaling, moon flowers. Inhaling, star. Exhaling, sunflowers. Inhaling, star. Exhale, left side, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your legs. Exhale, sliding into triangle. Inhale, back to star. Exhale, moon flowers. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sunflowers. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right side, warrior one, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, leg straightens. Exhale, sliding into triangle. Inhale, star. Exhale, moon flowers. Inhale, star. Exhale, sunflowers. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left side, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightening leg. Exhale, sliding into triangle, stacking shoulders. Inhale, back to star. Let's bring your hands to heart center. Let's turn our feet parallel, roll our shoulders back. Bring hands behind, interlace fingers, pushing knuckles toward the floor, lifting sternum, hinging forward, lifting arms. We'll come halfway down, reset the shoulders, lift the arms. You can hang out here. You can release and go farther down, letting the head hang if you like. Wherever you are, release your fingertips down to the floor. Come to a halfway lift with a wide stance. Planting the right hand under the nose. Inhale the left arm up. Take a twist with the long spine. Float the hand back down. Plant the left hand under your nose. Inhale the right arm up. Take that twist. Relax it back down. Let's walk our hands over to the right foot and flex the left foot for Skandasana. Let's walk our hands to the left foot and flex the right foot. Let's walk our hands back to center. Come to flat back, bring our hands to our hips and rise up. Shake it out. Let's do a quick tree pose for balance practice today. From mountain pose, hands at heart center. Round it into the right foot. The left foot can come out like a kickstand. Or it can bring heel to ankle. Or foot to calf. Or foot to thigh. We can grow the tree if we like. Try to use your mula bandha here, your root lock, to stabilize you. back to heart center. Let's bring that left knee forward. Let's cross the left ankle over the right leg. You can hang out here like a number four. You can sink your hips back. Do a standing pigeon. Oops. Holding your chest to your shin. Focusing on a stationary spot. Now, shift our weight into the left foot, hands at heart center. Option one, kickstand that right leg. Option two, heel to ankle, narrow base of support for this one. Option three, foot to calf. Option four, always skip the knee, not on the knee, but on the thigh. Mula bandha, engaging pelvic floor, helping you stabilize and connect both sides of your body. Option to grow your tree. center, right knee forward, cross it over, hang out here if you like, or sit back, sink your 
the hips, moving the chest toward the shin, standing pigeon. And we'll rise back up. I'll shake it out. Let's get ready for our fusion segment. Fusion segment is going to be three blocks. Each block has eight cycles. In a true Tabata workout, you would do the same exercise eight times. I mix it up here more because we have a shorter time period and it gives us more variety. So for the first segment, the first block, we'll be doing a deadlift from our mountain pose. It's just a hip hinge with a long spine. And we're going to do a goblet squat, which is our yoga squat. With our new flower sort of here, holding the weight here. Then we're going to come into a row. I'll give you the option to do your row either in a low lunge, a long lunge, I should say, or, in a, or, or a warrior three. So whichever you're doing, we're holding the weight in the left hand. You're going to have that left foot forward or down, and we'll switch. That'll be four cycles, and we'll repeat those cycles. The second block is going to be lighter weights doing a series of shoulder and tricep exercises using a pyramid stance. And the third set will be bicep curls and then a side bend. And then we're going to do chest and core. And I'm going to give you two options because not everybody likes to do chaturangas. So I'm going to do chaturanga or kneeling chaturanga and then I'm going to do forearm plank or kneeling forearm plank. That will be our prone options. Our supine options will be our bridging chest press, so you're not on your, on your wrist like the others. Our bridging chest press and then one way to do pullovers. So I'm going to do one set the first time around, the other set the second time. But if you are a person that doesn't like to be on your wrists and shoulders, you're going to default to bridges and chest press, when I say, and then pull over. You're going to have that option. So starting first with one heavy weight for our first block, as I fear. Oh, wait, music's going to change itself. This is perfect. Come to mountain pose. Hold the weight with both hands. Stack your spine. Pack your shoulders. Hinging from your hips. I got it. That was awesome. Sometimes I surprise myself how good I am. Bend and extend. Hinging the hips. Spine is long. Now I'm at tempo. You need to be at tempo. Look at your own pace. Come all the way up each time, squeezing your glutes. Got your weight like a goblet. Take your wide stance. Make sure your knees point towards your toes. Squat. Go. Bend and extend. Inhale, exhale. All right. Weight in your left hand, left foot forward in your lunge, or ground your left foot for your warrior three. And row, your choice. Go. Squeezing back the shoulder, the shoulder blade. If you're in warrior three, press back through that heel. Keep your core nice and active. If you're in lunge, you're gonna fold over your thigh. Move the weight to your right hand, bring your right foot forward if you're in the lunge, or ground your right foot if you're in warrior three. Go. Pressing back through the heel, lifting and lowering, working lats. Back to deadlift, mountain pose. Hold the weight with both hands, stack your spine, and pack your shoulders. Pull back against the weight. Keep some engagement in your shoulders. Hinge. Go. 
all the way up, nice and tall each time. Coming back to the mountain each time. Goblin grip, wide feet, knees pointing toward the toes. Go. Breathe. Lower and lift. Keep it going. Weight in the left hand. Left foot forward. Warrior three. Or lunging, holding chest to the thigh. Go. Pulling right up to your side. Leading with your elbow. Getting those lats and biceps here. Final round. Move the weight to your right hand. Right foot forward or ground the right foot for warrior three or to lunge. Go. Second round, second block, we're going to do in variations of pyramid prep with our feet hip width apart so I've got space between my feet. So pyramid prep and pyramid pose. Pushing the hips back, flat back, spine parallel to the floor. We're going to do um, side raises and pyramid, rear delt, pyramid prep rather, rear delts and pyramid front raises in pyramid, and then kickbacks in pyramid. So it's prep, it's pyramid, it's prep, it's pyramid, then we'll switch feet and do it all again. We're going to use light weights here. If you don't have light weights, you can swap out overhead presses for side raises and rear delt rows for reverse flies here. So whatever you've got. Put the right foot forward first. I'll go at an angle here, left foot back. Pyramid prep, spine stacked, shoulders packed. Side raise or overhead press. Go. Lift and lower. Working deltoids. Up and down. At tempo or your own pace is fine. Inching forward, pushing the hips back, rounding into the back foot, rear delt flies or rear delt rows. Go. Keep length in your spine. Now if your weights are heavy, for the next exercise, you may just want to hold one weight with both hands. It'll be an option. Back to pyramid front raise, shoulders back, raising straight forward to shoulder level. Use one weight if it's heavy. Two if you can do it. Go. Now the weights don't swing. They stop at the bottom. Working the fronts of the shoulders, the upper chest. back to pyramid for triceps. Tuck your elbows into your sides. Keep those elbows tucked and straighten your arms back. Go. Extend. Again, the weights don't swing. They stop when they're pointing straight down. Lift and lower. All right, let's switch our stance. Left foot forward, right foot back. Pyramid prep, pack those shoulders. Side raise or overhead press. Go. Go. 
those deltoids have been lower. Pushing hips back, hinging into pyramid for rear delts, rows or flies. Go. Squeezing shoulder blades together either way. Almost. Rising back up to prep. Shoulders packed, front raise, straight out to forward. Go, lift. Again, if your weight's heavy, you can just use one weight in both hands. Almost there. This is a hard one. Final round. Pushing back to pyramid. Elbows tucked into our side. Pin those elbows to your sides. Go. Extend. Lift and lower. Almost there. All right. Recover. Catch your breath. Third and final cycle, third round coming up. We're going to do biceps in chair, side bend, biceps, side bend, and drop to the floor. Don't forget your option between your prone, your chaturangas and forearm planks, or regular planks, or whatever, or your supine bridges and chest press and pullovers. I'm going to do the prone version first, I'm do the supine version second. I need two weights. Starting in kind of an easy chair, parallel feet, Let's turn our palms forward for the first set, we'll do a supinated curl for the first set, we'll change it for the second set. Drop into your chair, palms are forward, shoulders are packed. Bicep curls. Bend and extend. Put down the weight in your left hand. Roll your shoulders, bring your left arm up. We're going to flex to the right side, feeling it in the left side. Side bend. Go. You can work at halftime if you like. Getting some core here. Remember you're lifting, not just flopping to the side. Lift up and over. Grab your other weight. This time palms face in for hammer curls. Drop into your easy chair. Go. Curl it. Bend and extend. Almost there. Let's put down the weight in your right hand. Roll back your shoulders, raise your right arm. We're flexing to the left this time, lifting up and over. Go. You can work at halftime if you like. Over. Now after this we go down to the floor for either our supine or prone version, either our chaturangas or our bridges with presses. Kneeling chaturanga is fine. Go. 
Don't drop the shoulders below the elbows, please. Elbows close to the sides. I'm going to do a forearm plank. You can kneel or not. You can also do your pullover if you're lying on your back. Go. This is 20 seconds. If you have to lower and lift your hips a couple times, that's okay. Just breathe, brace your core. So these are our prone options. I'll do the supine options next. On the back, feet planted, bridge and press. Go. So this again is chest and triceps. Our next supine option is pull over. One weight, tabletop knees, brace your abs, float your head. Go. Lengthen and lift. It's hard to work at tempo with these. It's a long labor. All right, that's our three blocks. That's our fusion. Let's, let's all roll onto our backs. We'll all hug our knees to the chest. Rock out the lower back. And we'll plant the feet, roll onto one side, come up to seated. Let's open our arms. Squeeze our shoulder blades back, stretch the chest. Now let's imagine turning our palms back, imagine squeezing a beach ball behind you for chest expansion, even more stretching here. Shake it out. Let's do Gomukhasana arms to stretch our triceps. You've got options here. We'll start by all rolling our shoulders back. We'll extend the right arm up, we'll pat ourselves on the back. Now option one, just take your left hand and grab your right elbow, push or pull back. Option two, you can take that left hand out, flip the thumb under, slide it all the way across around your waist, and reach up and grab your fingertips. If you can't reach your fingertips, you can use a strap, a belt, or a towel. So find an option, hand on elbow, fingertips to fingertips, or fingertips to strap or towel. Lift the sternum, stack the spine, feel the stretch in the back of the upper right arm. Breathe. Sit. Shoulder rolls. Pack those shoulders back. Left arm up. Pat the back. Right hand can grab the elbow and pull back. Or can reach out. Use a strap if you want to. You can wrap around your waist. Come up and grab those fingertips. Stacking the spine, lifting the sternum. Stretching out those triceps. Let's extend the right leg, bring the left foot to the inner thigh on the right side. Slide the right hand out and down toward the right foot as far as you can get. Might be, you might be holding your shin, you might be holding your foot, leaning into that leg. Let's roll the left shoulder back, reach out, reach up perhaps over. We'll rise back up. Let's bring the left leg out and the right foot to the left inner thigh. We'll slide the left hand out, grabbing the shin or the foot. We'll roll the right shoulder back, reach out, reach up. Perhaps reach over, leaning into that thigh, breathing and stretching.
rising back up. Let's shake the legs out. Let's roll over face down. We're going to do bow pose. I'll start you with half bow, and you can repeat half bow, or you can do full bow if you like. So here are the options. We're face down. We'll start with the right forearm resting in front of us. We're going to put our forehead here. We'll bend the left leg. We'll reach back and grab that foot or ankle here. And we'll kick into that hand and we'll lift the chest for half bow. Breathing. Use that leg kicking into your hand to power your lift here. So you're pulling yourself up with your leg. Release it back down. Switch arms in front. Now bending the right leg, reaching back with the right hand, grabbing the foot or ankle. Now kicking into the hand with the foot, lifting the chest. Half bow. Breathe. Relax it down. You can repeat those on each side if you like. You can bend both legs in. Grab with both hands. Kick into your hands, lift your chest and perhaps rock on your belly. Release it. If you're doing one side, you'll switch sides. If you're doing both sides, we'll repeat. Grab your feet, kick into your hands. If you're doing both, full bow, you can rock on your belly. Relax, release it down, take a breath, let's push back into child's pose, releasing the back, sinking the hips, letting the forehead float down to the floor, just feeling that length and decompression of your spine. in, sitting up, we'll drop to one hip and swing our legs around. We're going to roll down onto our backs from here and you can do this either by holding on to one leg and rolling yourself down that way or by stacking your spine, reaching forward and tucking your tailbone under, and rolling down one vertebra at a time with control. Once we're down, we'll draw the knees in. Each hand will grab a knee. We'll circle like egg beaters. And reverse. Let's release the left leg out and down. With the left hand, we'll pull the right leg across the body, keeping those shoulders grounded, extending the right arm out to the side, turning the head to the right away from the knee, Melting into the twist. Coming back to center, hugging both legs in, locking it out. Now releasing the right leg out and down. The right hand pulling the left leg across the body, rolling onto the right side hip. Shoulder blades are grounded, left arm out to the side, head turned to the left. Just breathe and melt into your spinal twist. We'll come back to center. Rock it out. Let's release those legs out and down. Take up all the space you need coming into our Shavasana. Let your feet just fall out to the side. Let your arms float down, your palms face up. Close your eyes softly. Just ask yourself if you need to adjust your hips, your shoulder blades, or your head to find a good length in your head, neck, or spine here. And as you find that, just release any tension in your head, in your forehead, around your eyes. Relax the jaw. Soften your neck. Feel your shoulders melting down to the floor. Your arms are relaxed. The 
your spine is melting into the floor, your abs are sinking in, your hips are grounding, your thighs are relaxed, your knees are soft, and your calves relaxed as your feet just fall out to the side. We come back to the awareness of our breath, following the inhale and the exhale, deeper into our Shavasana. our breath, we can begin to come back into the body, we can rock our heads from side to side, we can wiggle our fingers and toes, we can circle our wrists and ankles in one direction, and then reverse direction. bending our knees and planting our feet wider than our hips so that our knees are falling inward and just sway those knees from side to side letting them rise and fall and eventually pick a side and roll onto that side Stacking one hip over the other, stacking one shoulder over the other. And then with as little effort as possible, we press ourselves up to our comfortable seated position. Stacking the spine, 
rolling the shoulders back, lifting the sternum, sitting nice and tall, pressing up through the crown of the head, and bringing our hands to heart center, taking the time to appreciate that we've given ourselves a gift today. Thank you for sharing this gift with me. Namaste.